in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how the modern dating market has been destroyed due to optics. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. When we look at, you know, what we're seeing through video case studies and, and different things in the media about the modern day dating market, man, I tell you, I am so glad that I am married and far removed from it. And one thing that I, I see commonly is a lot of people let the optics behind social media and you know other people's perception when we think about optics and the meaning of the word optics about how the public and how people perceive you know what they're doing in their courting what they're doing in their dating what people think about their spouse they give way too much uh, leeway for people to levy an opinion or judgment on somebody that might be actually good for them. You know, uh, let me give you an example. If a woman entertains a guy with good character, you know what I'm saying, got a head on his shoulder, you know, fears the most high you wants to lead, wants to be a provider and a protector. If this woman publicizes that on social media and this man doesn't meet uh, the requirements of the people that have pretty much thrown modern dating out of whack saying, okay, like who would date? Why would you date this short man? And uh, this man is not that, and he doesn't look like this. People let the optics of social media destroy good things. And I would tell you, do not let it corrupt you. Do not let it corrupt you. If you have something good, you don't go around flashing it. Not like what you see these people doing on social media and they're catching so much backlash, so much doggone judgment. You know, as a man, if you have a doggone, you know, uh, a, a woman who is modest and meek and, you know, uh, cooperative, not confrontational, submissive, I'm telling you, man, you have to be cautious of what you put out there on social media because it's gonna be up to the court of public opinion how they perceive it. And those optics, you might not like those optics, your partner may not like those optics and that publicity. So you have to be mindful of this because when you look at a lot of these, uh, these uh, different dating experiences that we're seeing, pop the balloon and all of this and all of that, it, it's, it's all optics based. And then you realize these people are catching, uh, you know, catching hell behind the scenes based upon optics. And these, the people that are causing the dating market to be superficial, don't add any value to your life. They just got opinions and want to put their judgment on you as a man or a woman. So I would tell you, man, safeguard when you're out dating and you're truly uh, getting to know somebody, I would tell you, that's not a time uh, to be taking pictures and going live and all of this. When you have somebody doing that as a man or a woman, they care more about the optics than they do actually getting to know you. And that's a major red flag. They're in it for all the wrong reasons. You see what I'm saying? If I, if I was to take my wife to a nice restaurant and uh, we were you know, having an experience and the first thing she does you know, is wants to go live and do all of this and take pictures for this. It's like, you can't, she can't even enjoy the moment. That would be a red flag. I'm like, I, I'm not going for that. So men and women, you need to understand this because we live in a very uh, fictitious generation where people have a, a facade that they try to keep up. And when there's a facade that they're living in, you know, a false personality, you know, a social media uh, identity, they try to live up to the optics. 
and that's not good. Don't no man want a woman that's always doing stuff for the optics of it. Don't no woman want a man that's always doing stuff for the optics of it. You know, people have got away from being uh, genuine in dating. You know, getting getting the woman flowers. Now you got some women, the first thing they do when they get flowers is they got to take pictures of it and post it on social media to try to get all the other women jealous. You know, it, 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 it's not about being genuine anymore. And I would tell you, do not let this modern day uh, culture of dating and the optics behind it destroy you or unmotivate you in trying to find a partner if that is your goal. And if you do find somebody, you know, make sure you safeguard that. Everybody don't need to know uh, what you got and they don't need to see uh, uh, just an open display because you are in a relationship with them. The more you show people about what you've got going on, you are giving them uh, a first class ticket or invite into your relationship to tell you their opinion. Closer to y'all ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight. Wow.